Oh, I'm tired. It's the moment of truth, man. Jeez. Women's Royal Rumble. This is going to be awesome. Right, we got uh, Maria Menounos. But this only really means that Stephanie McMahon is going to win. Sasha Banks is number one. There probably couldn't be another woman who could have been number one. Besides the person who's number two, which probably will be one of the four horsewomen. But probably not Bailey. Probably Becky Lynch. So start off Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch. Yes. much up to succeed because Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks will probably give us a good little sequence here. In the beginning, they might be even the last two standing. I would not be surprised. So, as far as this matchup goes, I agree with you. Very nice. Uh, Sierra Logan from the Rat Squad. She, she's actually so country. She, she makes uh, Bray Wyatt look like, um, makes him look like pancakes compared to waffles. He's the waffle type country. But, at the same time, you know, she probably could have been Sister Abigail, in all honesty. I, I probably would have had her be Sister Abigail. There's no other way around it. Entry number four. It's absolution. I mean, there's so many fractions and groups for the Divas, like Mandy Rose. Like, I, I don't think the WWE even knew that they were mirroring each other with the SmackDown and Raw fractions. Uh, or factions, whatever. But they, they actually have. So, I mean, it, it's confusing to say the least. That's what I gotta say. Entry number five. Ah, uh, Lita. Yes. This is my Rey Mysterio moment. This is my Rey Mysterio moment. Dude. She looks awesome, man. Dude. Dude, you don't understand, dude. Same sweatpants. Uh, nah. Yep, that was our first big, big moment in the match. This It just made the match great. They're wrestling their idols now. Sasha Banks and, uh, shoot. It's hard to explain, but. Dang it. Thank you, Lynch, yeah. Yep, they're interacting right now. Wow. All right, entry number six. Uh, Carrie Singh, bro, she's actually one of my favorites. Uh, like when I heard, you know, people say Asuka, but this girl rivals Asuka. You know, forget undefeated streaks for a second. They could actually feud Asuka and her, Carrie Singh. I mean, it's not just because they're both it's because they work the same style basically. They can take each other's stips, kicks, stip shots, elbows. Like, yeah, that'd be great, man. That'd be great. Ender number seven, I believe. You know, Lita's on fire right now. I really hope she kind of wins. You know, I mean, look at that moonsault, bro. Oh, jeez, she, she, when she hits that, always think she land on her head, bro. It's crazy. The Brooke just entered in number eight, so yeah, it's 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 one of those matchups, man. But but she had a pretty good flip in the entrance, so. She might do some gymnastics. Yep, she's doing some gymnastics. Yep, she did the sneaky flip. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine, Tori Wilson. All right, that's just a, a cheap pop. You know, it's, it won't be like a leader wrestling thing. You know, the way leader could wrestle, man. What she did, she really elevated this match to a whole nother level. But awesome, we got Tori Wilson. Okay. All right, number ten. Will be Ty Zillinger. You know he didn't enter this one. <laughs> Kevin Owens. <laughs> it's. I really know many of these names, but Sonya Deville. Yep, she's a serious brawler, bro. Yeah. All right, number eleven. Wilson just got eliminated by. Uh, Sandy Deville, I believe. Here we go. 
Right squad, Liv Morgan. It's very popular on most of Holly Holly is number 12 now. She's gonna actually do some some really strong man stuff. Cause she knows what to do in the room. I'll put that up. Yep. Yep. Right, Michael. Molly Holly just did some crazy flip stuff. You know, you got number 13. You know, these, these veterans are really taking it seriously. Like, the veterans coming back, they're taking it seriously, man. Lana. Lana. <laughs> you know, he's going to get a Rusev Day chant, you know. <laughs> Rusev Day. Alright, Lana's getting down. He got his number 14. Uh, wait a minute, Michelle McCool. The Michelle McCool. This is a good nostalgia type thing going on. Dude, this kid, Michelle McCool right <laughs> That's what she's gonna save Lana, but she just super kicked him in the face. That is the funniest uh, underrated moment. Wow. Underrated. Michelle McCool is about to break the record for most eliminations. Uh, maybe ever in any rubble. <laughs> But she she has like four eliminations, bro. So she'll she'll probably keep that record for a while. You know, to me it's eliminated early. You know, only other person I could think of is uh, let me see, Nia Jax. Yeah. We got Ruby Ride out, number fifteen. Number sixteen. Oh, oh, Vicky, Vicky Guerrero. That's the scariest. Excuse me. Good guy. Uh, like, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, yeah. That's just, I get uncomfortable with every time she says that, bro. She's so angry, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. Alright. Well, this is gonna be a hard elimination. I, I don't even know how she's gonna take this spot. This is actually gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah, that looked like it. Ah, she's been on her knees, bro. Yeah, Vic. Seventeen, Karma. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh, Carmilla. This is gonna get fun. Why is she walking like that? <laughs> that? That is probably the second funniest walk next to Seamus, bro. She, <laughs> she's doing Carmella. <laughs> she's dropped the suit to Carmella. She's got a little bit sloppy, but you know, it's, it's good nostalgia. It's great wrestling, you know. There's some great stuff in here, you know. Kelly, Kelly, one you've all been waiting for. Man, teenage boys are loving this match. I'm telling you, you're loving it. Uh, Naomi, number 20. Naomi. Now, this is where things get really fun because she's fresh. She's lots of energy. Yeah, very athletic. She can do a lot. It's going to get crazy. She just became one of the Royal Rumble's first Iron Women. I'm with Sasha Banks, but she's still in it. Becky Lynch got eliminated, sadly. But, number 21, Jacqueline. We saw her on 25th anniversary, but I, I didn't know it was like that. Things about to get interesting. 22, Nia Jax, everybody's going to get eliminated. It's actually going to be crazy. I'm going to watch it. It's going to be awesome. Bro, I gotta get this, everybody. Naomi's actually the new Kofi Kingston. I don't know if people realize this. But she just actually levied off of all the divas she fell on, and now she's on the barricade. She's the new Kofi Kingston. What else can I say? I'm speechless. It's no sense I get the injured NXT superstars, but Amber Moon is here. Number 23, I believe. So yeah, she, she's going in it with Nia Jax. That's, that's going to be really challenging. Challenging. I don't know about this one. 
She's actually doing a 2013 thing. But it, it's been done before, hasn't it? I mean, it's been five years. Oh. Well. It's different. And she's going further. She went further. So I think she did a combination of everything Kofi Kingston did. Everything Kofi Kingston did. Like, literally, it's like a handstand on the chair. Went to the still steps. She's walking on the barricade, but... Yeah, she's not going to make the... Ah, uh, took that one serious. 